if we take a look here, what we have here is the square root of x. Okay, so if we just say x is just some number, this is what the square root of it is. Okay, so I want you guys to keep uh, familiarize yourselves with this square root symbol. Okay, we're going to be uh, looking at these um, throughout. Okay, let's look at let's look at some real numbers. Okay, now let's dive into it. What do we have here? We have the square root of four. Okay, now four. We, we all know is a square number. We can break that down into two squared, or in other words, two times two. Okay, so the square root of two times two. So if we can, now that we have two times two inside, what we can do is we can cancel out my square root sign, and we're left with simply just two. Okay, so this is how the square root is gonna work. Now if we have a look at another example, we have the square root of 16. Oh, 16 again, we know is a square number. So what is it the square of? Four squared, or in other words, four times four. Okay, and we can just cancel out my uh, square root symbol and we're left with just 4. Okay, so this is how uh, the square root operates. Okay, now if we take a look at the next example, the square root of 100. Now 100 is simply enough, it's just another square number. We can break it down into the 10 times 10. Okay, now we can cancel out my square root sign and we're left with just 10. Yes? Now, if we take a look at this example, the square root of 0 0.01. Now, it doesn't necessarily look like a square number like the others, but in fact, we can actually break it down into 0 0.1 times 0 0.1, okay? So you guys can even test out your calculator to see if this is right. Now, once we have this, we can simply just cancel out my square root symbol, okay? And we're left with 0 0.1, yes? So let's just have a look at one more, uh, one more concept. We have the square root of 5 squared, okay? So the square root of 5 squared, now if we take a look at it, the square root and the square, they're kind of uh, opposite in nature. So what we can do here, we can just cancel out straight away, and we're left with just 5. Okay, so if you guys take a look up here, that's what we've been doing. So if we have a look at this one, that's just 2 squared, okay? And this one, 4 squared, 10 squared, and so on, okay? So this one, straight up, 5 squared, the square root of that, we can cancel out the square and the square root, and we're left with 5. Okay, now if we have a look at one more example, we have the square root of x squared. Okay, so say x is some number that we don't know, but it's given to us that, oh, we have x squared. Okay, so again, square root and a square, we can cancel out, and we're left with just x. Okay, so this is how square roots work, okay? Now we we're dealing with square roots with uh, the square numbers inside, okay, then it's very easy for us to just cancel out.